Okay, in this presentation we are looking at random variables. We are told that the expected value of a random variable x is equal to 1 and that the variance of x is equal to 5. What we're asked to do is calculate the following three expressions, calculate a value for those, the expected value of 4 plus 3x, the variance of 4 plus 3x, and the expected value of 2 plus x to be squared. So that's 2 plus x in brackets to be squared. So what I have here is some, I'll tell you what, you can disregard that. We'll just go straight to the useful identities here. Uh, these are going to help us here. So the variance of x is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x to be squared. Now just actually notice that there's a big difference between the two. Okay. The expected value of ax plus b, where this is a sort of linear transformation of x, that the expected value of that is a times e of x, which is whatever constant is in front of x, plus b. Also, if we have two expressions there, the expected value of x plus y, essentially the expected value is the sum of the individual, the expected value, expected value of the individual components. And finally, the variance of ax plus b, which is sort of tied in with this other one here, that is a squared times the variance of x. Okay, so the b term disappears, but what we get is a squaring of the a term there. Okay, so the first one, calculate the expected value of 4 plus 3x. Well, that's simply a here is 3 and b is 4. And what we're going to do is use the first one of these identities, or second of those identities, just actually A and B are, the, the locations are reversed, but ultimately it's the same thing. So that is equal to 4 plus 3 times the expected value of X, which we were told previously was 1. So 4 plus 3 times 1, that is 7. Okay, part B is the variance of 4 plus 3X. So we can disregard B here, which is 4, but we need A. Okay, so that's essentially the variance of 3x, and that is the uh, 3 squared times the variance of x, which is 9 times 5. And again, we were told that the variance of x was 5 earlier on, so that is 45. So finally, part C, what we're asked to do is calculate the expected value of 2 plus x to be squared, and that is equal to the expected value of 4 plus 4x plus x squared. So essentially what we can do is break it up into two chunks. So the expected value of the whole thing can be expressed as the expected value of two of the components. And we could just choose that the components are 4 plus 4x and x squared. Okay, so we just calculate them out individually. So this is very much like part A. The expected value of 4 plus 4x, that is equal to 4 plus 4 times the expected value of x. 4 plus 4 times 1, that is equal to 8. Now, the expected value of x squared, this requires a little bit of lateral thinking, but it sort of goes back to our key identities that we should know off by heart. What we're going to do there is re-express one of them in particular, so just algebraically rearrange it. So essentially what we're going to do is add the expected value of x to be squared to both sides. Okay, so when we do that, we get this expression here the variance of x plus the expected value of x to be squared. And again, just to highlight, literally, that that number and that expression, those two expressions are not equal to each other. They're two completely different things, so don't get them mixed up. So anyway, we have five plus one squared. We're told the variance of x is five, and we're told the expected value of x is one, so five plus one squared, that gives us six. So piecing it all together, this is what we're asked to calculate, and we can re-express that as this part here, which we know to be 8, and this part here, which we know to be 6. So 8 plus 6, that is equal to 14. So, uh, yeah, this part here really was the tricky bit. Not even the tricky bit, which just requires a little bit of uh, thought about how we would use all of those expressions those identities. Actually, though, that, this is the key thing here. We've used almost every single one of these identities in this exercise. Okay, so they come up all the time and you should know them off by heart. I don't have them in any particular order there, but you know, so just, you know, it's not a hierarchy there, but you know, just they're, they're very, very useful. Okay, we'll leave it there.